Chapter 2611, Premeditation, 2. What did Jun Wu Ya mean by those words? Lord Yij, what do you mean? What Long Ju stared at Jun Wu Yao, not staring to think deeply about the meaning of Jun Wu Yao's words. Even Kin Song couldn't help his eyes from widening. There wasn't any astonishment found on the face of the spirit tree. While looking calmly at Jun Wu Yao, it suddenly spoke, you've guessed it. Long Ju and Kin Song were completely dumbfounded at the moment. The spirit tree didn't even deny Jun Wu Yao's statement. Instead, it responded with you've guessed it? What had he guessed? Did this mean that it was the spirit tree who had planned for its seed to be taken away by Jun Wu Yao at that time? Had the spirit tree earlier known that Meng Ku would betray the soul world? Exclamation mark. Long Ju and Kin Song were astounded by their own thoughts. They didn't even want to think more about it. Jun Wu Yao simply just shrugged his shoulders. Before this, I was just a little doubtful about it, but after Blood Velvet told me that the area covered by the contemporaneous knot was wide, I was then sure about it. During that year, Jun Wu Yao didn't really have much interest in the seed. It was the spirit tree who had told him a lot of interesting information on the contrary, causing him to seize with an idea of stealing the seed. There wasn't any difficulties faced when he took the seed away. Although the spirit tree did send its people to search for him, but the fact that no news was heard after that had caused Jun Wu Yao to feel a little weird. After all, the seed that was taken by him was the seed that the spirit tree prepared to make it as its heir. Wasn't it too easy for him to just simply take the seed away? At first, Jun Wu Yao thought that it was after Meng Kui had gotten in touch with the upper realm that he had decided to persecute the spirit tree all of a sudden, but the existence of the contemporaneous knot was far before the past thousand years. It was obvious that the time when the spirit tree was cast with the contemporaneous knot was much earlier than the time when Meng Kui began to be in contact with the upper realm. Hence, by inference, the fact that Jun Wu Yao was able to take the seed away so smoothly, this might probably be the premeditation of the spirit tree. You knew that Meng Kui had the thoughts of treachery but because you had no idea what was he actually planning to do, and so you handed me the seed and let me take it out of the soul world? Looking at the spirit tree, although the gaze of Jun Wu Yao was slightly sharp, there was no rage in his eyes. The spirit tree let out a soft sigh. While facing Jun Wu Yao's query, it didn't make any refutation about it except for one. I'd been aware of Menku's things before that. However, this isn't the reason of me letting you take away the seed. In fact, it's the other two reasons, which one of it was because of the upper realm, and for the other one the spirit tree didn't finish its words but with a trace of bizarreness in its eyes, its gaze fell on to Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi stunned a little. What the spirit tree was trying to say was that she was the second reason of it letting Jun Wu Yao to take the seed. Kin Song, Long Ju. The voice of the spirit tree suddenly changed. Long Ju and Kin Song, who had earlier been flabbergasted by the truth to the point that their souls left their bodies, were still being in a state of confusion up till now. Even after they were called by the spirit tree they were still feeling a little dizzy. Please leave first, the spirit tree requested. The following topic wasn't something that they were allowed to listen to. Though Long Ju and Kin Song appeared to be a little dazed, they wouldn't hesitate to follow the orders given by the spirit tree. Obediently, they left the spirit tree and guarded at the outer side spontaneously, preventing the other spirit envoys from getting near to the spirit tree. They could vaguely notice that the things that the spirit tree was going to talk about after this might probably be something really important. After Long Ju and Kin Song left the place, only then the spirit tree raised its eyes and looked in the direction of Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao, Chapter 2612, Premeditation, 3. I have already discovered the issue of Menku, but I just didn't think that he would be used by the upper realm. I let you take the seed away, in order to maintain the bloodline, and it was also for the one beside you. The spirit tree looked at Jun Wuxi, its eyes were unusually gentle, with a smile on the corner of its mouth. Me? Jun Wuxi felt a little bit strange, how do you know that Jun Wu Yao will meet me? The encounter between her and Jun Wu Yao was an accident. Moreover, she was not a soul of this world, but she was born again and took up her current shell. When Jun Wu Yao left the upper realm, 
she did not exist in this world at all. Yet, the spirit tree said that it was for her. The spirit tree smiled and said, all things in the world are predestined, I know that you will eventually meet. Jun Wuxi cast a glance at Jun Wu Yao, she felt that what the spirit tree said was very strange. How did you know? Jun Wu Yao frowned. The spirit tree replied, did you not just see the past that belongs to both of you? The words of the spirit tree made the hearts of Jun Wu Ya and Jun Wu Xi trembled slightly. They all knew that the spirit tree was referring to the illusions and realistic dreamscape. What Jun Wu Xi thought was right, that dreamscape was what the spirit tree wanted them to see. I don't think that those things hold any meaning for us. Jun Wu Yao said coldly, How was the past related to their present? It doesn't make much sense. But amidst everything, you would still have met. You are not souls of this world, but you are sent here by the power of another world. Have you ever thought about the reason? The spirit tree spoke, neither too fast nor slow. Even if you don't want to think about it, it did happen before. The upper realm want the souls from the outside world to activate the blood sacrifice array, smash the void into pieces. If it's not you, then it is her. The beings of the three realms are innocent. Although I don't dare affect cause and effect in the world, but I can give it a push. Yeech, I know why you are returning to the upper realm. But I want to tell you that what you know is not everything. The upper realm cooperating with Menku to capture the soul world is not just for the occupation of this piece of land. What do you know about it? Jun Wu Yao perceived that the spirit tree knew much more than him. The spirit tree was not supposed to intervene in anything in the three realms. It existed as a nurturer of souls for the three realms. It was a creator, the creator of this world's souls. But in a sense, it was also a bystander, unable to control the changes in the three realms and could only exist in this soul world. Some things, I can't say but you can find clues on your own. I can only tell you now that the enemies you will face, only you can resolve. If you like this world, then you should guard and protect it with your heart, and it will bring you unexpected returns. When the spirit tree finished speaking, the figure gradually faded, turning into a body of blue smoke and melting into the body behind. In the soul world, your enemies have not left yet. The blood sacrifice array, apart from the spell casting, can be casted with 999,000 souls with the sacrifice of a million souls. Even if the souls of the outside world and the soul bones which escape to the ends of the earth, as long as they are still within the three realms, the blood sacrifice array can still be carried out. This is the only thing I can tell you. The rest must be discovered by yourselves. The spirit tree eventually returned to its body, the human form dissipated and the golden light which was suspended in the air slowly floated towards June Wuxi, Chapter 2613, Imminence, 1. June Wuxi looked at the light sphere that was floating in front of her, she then raised her eyes and looked at June Wu Yao, the light sphere consisted the purest soul power in the world, it was a treasure given by the spirit tree to settle the chaotic energy in June Wuxi's body, June Wu Yao slightly nodded his head to June Wuxi, June Wuxi stretched her hands out and placed the light sphere between her hands. The light sphere landed on June Wuxi's palms and turned into a gold mist in that instant before it infiltrated into June Wuxi's hands. June Wuxi could clearly feel that when the energy blended into her body, the chaotic energy which was tangling inside her had been cleansed up little by little, they hadn't even say anything yet but the spirit tree had already known about their purpose of visiting the soul world. This showed that the things that were previously said by the spirit tree weren't just some groundless rumors. Why won't it finish the words? After June Wuxi had fully absorbed the light sphere, she looked at the quiet and huge spirit tree. It had already gone back to its original form. Every single sentence that it said just now had caused Jun Wuxi to rack her brains, trying to figure out the meaning hidden in its words. The spirit tree was the spirit life that had appeared the earliest in the three realms. It was because of its existence that there were so many souls existing in the three realms, and that there was this thing called the metempsychosis path in the soul world. The things it knew should probably be much more than anyone else in this world. It's the causality that isn't allowing the spirit tree to say it. Once it says it, it will then destruct the causality. 
Jun Wu Yao slightly narrowed his eyes. There were some words that even if the spirit tree wanted to tell them, it was unlikely that the principle of causality would let it do so. The world had its own rules, and even if it was the spirit tree, it would also be restrained by the rules. Jun Wu Xi drew in a deep breath. The spirit tree had given them some hints, and for the rest, they needed to figure it out themselves. The spirit tree has mentioned that the enemy of the soul world have not left yet. I don't think it is talking about those spirit envoys who has betrayed the soul world. Does this mean that there are the people from the upper realm staying in the soul world? Jun Wuxi was thinking about the words that were said by the spirit tree just now. She had no time to think about the others in detail but the matter related to the soul world was her first priority. After the contemporaneous knot was removed from the spirit tree, those spirit envoys who had turned their backs on the soul world could no longer pose any threats to them. Without Menku, they were just a plate of loose sand. The kind of enemy that was able to let the spirit tree to specially warn them definitely wouldn't be those spirit envoys in the soul world. Before this, I'd been feeling that the way the upper realm took their actions was very weird. Why would they want to take the soul world under their control? But I think I've roughly understood it now. The pair of June Wooks's eyes slightly narrowed. The spirit tree had mentioned that in order to conduct the blood sacrifice of the three realms, besides building the array, there was a second way to hold the event, which was sacrificing 999,000 souls and use the energy produced from the sacrifices to sheathe the entire three realms. As long as Jun Wu Ya and the Soul Bone were still in the three realms, the souls that were sacrificed in the soul sacrificing event would then form an array that was able to swathe everything up, and the blood sacrifice of the three realm could still be carried out. This was also the reason why the upper realm must take over the soul world. Only the soul world was able to supply such a large amount of souls. If it wasn't for June Wuxi visiting the soul world in the purpose of looking for the souls of her father, her master and her grandmaster, and if it wasn't for Jun Wu Yao coming to the soul world in order to find the solution to resolve Jun Wuxi's chaotic energy, perhaps they wouldn't have come to the soul world in such a short time, and they also wouldn't have figured out the surreptitious plan of the upper realm. It was most likely that all the plans that the upper realm had carried out for the blood sacrifice array were just the camouflage they projected on the surface, whereas under the ground, they had actually prepared another method which was using the soul entities in the soul world to pave another road for them to crash the void apart. Chapter 2614, Imminence, 2 That is very clever. Jun Wu Yao sneered. What Jun Wu Xi thought of, naturally he too thought of it. If not for their trip to the soul world, they would have really missed out on this great piece of news. Once the plan of the upper realm was successful, it would be very difficult for them to try and stop it. Jun Wuxi was silent for a moment. Suddenly, she took a step toward the spirit tree. She looked at the tall spirit tree and said, Spirit tree, thank you for your help. I still have one more thing to ask for your help with. You know everything about this world, then. Can you tell me, my father, my master and my grandmaster, are there souls in the soul world? Jun Wuxi's voice echoed in the empty surrounding. After a long time, a vine of the spirit tree slowly lifted up and gently rested on Jun Wuxi's eyebrow. The gentle voice once again sounded in the mind of Jun Wuxi. Your master and grandmaster have entered the reincarnation, they will be born again, but they will have no memory of their past. If you want to find them, after they are reborn. I can tell you where their souls are. They have outstanding souls, and they will be reborn into the soul world. Whether they stay or leave, depends on them. June Wuxi's heart was overcome with joy as the spirit tree's words were very euphemistic. June Wuxi knew that great master Ren Huang and Yan Buigui were dead, but their souls could be reincarnated, it was unlike that of Menku's soul. There was a chance to be born again, although they won't remember their past. Perhaps, this could be considered a good outcome, may I bother you, tree spirit, again to let me know when they are reborn, Jun Wuxi sighed, but suddenly noticed that the spirit tree only answered with the news of great master Ren Huang and Yan Bugui, but only did not reply regarding her father, spirit tree, then my father, is his soul in the soul world, when Jun Wuxi asked this question, 
her heartbeat accelerated unconsciously. The soul of Junga had always been the most concerning issue in Lin Palace, if she couldn't find it again, she did not know how to face grandpa and uncle. This time, the spirit tree fall into a long silence. After a long time, the voice of the spirit tree sounded again. Here, June Wuxi's eyes shone bright. An indescribable joy spread wildly in her chest. Even though she never had contact with June Gu, but the word father had some sort of magical power that made June Wuxi could not help but want to find him. Where is he? June Wuxi's voice held a hint of urgency. Found him, finally found him. Soul ascending altar. After the spirit tree conveyed these three words, the vines were pulled back. Evidently there was nothing more to be said. However, these answers had already made June Wuxi feel unusually satisfied. Her father, really was in the soul world. June Wuxi's eyes were slightly bright, and her subtle changes allowed June Wu Yao to smile involuntarily. Little Xi, you have good news. June Wuxi nodded. Master and Grandmaster can be reborn. My father he is in the soul world. Jun Wu Yao smiled more comfortably, and for now, their purpose in the soul world had been achieved. Where is he? Jun Wu Yao asked. Jun Wu Xi took a deep breath and said, Soul Ascending Altar. There was a slight change on Jun Wu Yao's face. Chapter 2615, Imminence. 3. Jun Wu Xiu noticed the change in Jun Wu Yao and the ecstasy in her eyes went down a little. What's wrong? The soul ascending altar. Is there anything wrong about it? Jun Wu Yao recovered from the shock and slightly shook his head. There's nothing wrong with the place. It's just that the soul ascending altar is a place where the spirit envoy who has committed a serious crime in the soul world is executed, but ever since the day the soul world is established, the soul ascending altar has never been used. Why is your father there? Without thinking much about the other things. Jun Wu Yao was just feeling a little weird about the fact that her father was there. Jun Wu Xi shook her head. She knew nothing more. The spirit tree had only given her three words, soul ascending altar, regarding the location of Jun Gu. They could only ask Long Ju and Kin Song if they wanted to know about the detailed situation of the soul ascending altar. Although Jun Wu Yao had visited the soul world many times. He always spent most of his time staying together with the spirit tree, and he rarely went to the other places in the soul world. Both of them walked out and saw Kin Song and Long Ju standing outside, seemingly to be thinking of something. After they saw them coming, Long Ju and Kin Song quickly stepped forwards and greeted them. Although they were really curious about the conversations between the spirit tree and the couple, Kin Song and Long Ju were sensible enough to not ask anything. Where's the soul ascending altar? While looking at them, Jun Wuxi asked. The soul ascending altar? Long Ju and Kin Song looked at each other, not expecting that Jun Wuxi would actually ask about the location of the soul ascending altar. To be honest, the soul ascending altar was considered a forbidden area to all the spirit envoys in the soul world, except for those who were guarding there. It was rare for the spirit envoys to go to the soul ascending altar. Why do you want to go to the soul ascending altar? That isn't really a nice place for you to go. Long Ju scratched his head. Could it be that the spirit tree had told both Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao something about the soul ascending altar? I want to go and find my father. The spirit tree said that my father is at the soul ascending altar explained Jun Wuxi. Long Ju and Kin Song were immediately enlightened. Before this when they left the lower realm, Jun Wuxi had once asked them to help her find Jun Gu, Yan Bu Gui and Ren Huang in the soul world. However, when they got back to the soul world, the chaos had already happened and they didn't have the time to look for them. If you guys want to go, we can bring you there said Kin Song. Now that Menku was dead, those black armored spirit envoys were just a flock of sheep without a shepherd leading them, and most importantly, the contemporaneous knot on the spirit tree had been removed. Those spirit envoys who were faithful to the spirit tree would no longer have to restrain themselves. In terms of numbers, the amount of the black armored spirit envoys was far behind Kin Song them. Jun Wuxi nodded her head. However, Instead of hurrying to the soul ascending altar, she went to the soul prison together with Kin Song and Long Ju to free those spirit envoys who were locked up.
when the black armored spirit envoys who were guarding outside the soul prison noticed the appearance of Jun Wu Yao, they couldn't even pluck up their courage to fight. There was no need for Jun Wu Yao to do anything as the black armored spirit envoys had just straight off fled from the place. Even until the moment when those spirit envoys got out of the prison, they had still not realized the change in the soul world. After Long Ju told them everything, only then they came to an enlightenment that the soul world had actually been extricated from Manku's control. The spirit tree said that the enemy of the soul world is still here. In my opinion, there might be people from the upper realm staying in the soul world. While looking at all the spirit envoys who had regained their freedom, Jun Wuxi repeated the words that were said by the spirit tree to them. However, there wasn't any bits of nervousness seen from those spirit envoys at all. As long as the spirit tree had gotten rid of the contemporaneous knot, they had nothing to be afraid of. Gin Song had sent part of the spirit envoys to the location of the spirit tree in order to protect its safety whereas the others had started a battle to hunt down all the traitors in the entire soul world. Chapter 2616 Soul Ascending Altar, 1. After Kin Song and Long Ju released the spirit envoys, they were ready to accompany Jun Wuxi and the others to the Soul Ascending Altar. However, amongst those spirit envoys who were locked up, there was a spirit envoy who once guarded the Soul Ascending Altar, and upon hearing that Jun Wuxi and friends wanted to go there, that spirit envoy immediately tensed. Do you really want to go to the Soul Ascending Altar? The spirit envoy stared widely at Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao. Jun Wuxi nodded slightly. Kin Song noticed the strange behavior of the spirit envoy, and immediately asked, Is there something strange going on at the soul ascending altar? The spirit envoy replied, Miss Jun conveyed the instructions of the spirit tree, that the enemy is still in soul world. I used to guard the soul ascending altar. When Menku brought the insurgents to attack, I was there when we were arrested but the insurgents were not spirit envoys of the soul world. They seem like they came from the upper realm. The words of the spirit envoy immediately aroused alarm in Jun Wuxi. Kin Song continued rapidly questioning the spirit envoy, he did not dare hide and tell them everything he knew. When he and his companions were arrested, they were not taken to the soul prison straight away. Instead, they were detained for several days at the soul ascending altar. It was during those days that he found out the people who took over the soul ascending altar were the souls from the upper realm. How many of them are there? Kin Song was slightly shocked. He and Long Ji Wu were in a hurry when they returned to the soul world, so they didn't have time to go to the soul ascending altar to check on the situation but they did not expect that the army from the upper realm would actually be at the soul ascending altar. The spirit envoy shook his head. I didn't see clearly and I didn't count them. They arrived one after another. When I was taken to the soul prison, their troops were incomplete, but I estimate not less than tens of thousands of people. Tens of thousands? Kin Song was shocked. My grandmother. That group of bastards better not leave. The fire in my stomach has been burning for so long and it's just as well that these upper realm bastards are here so that I can beat them up. Long Ju was already rolling up his sleeves and getting ready for a big battle. Kin Song glanced at the impulsive Long Ju, and shook his head helplessly. Since the upper realm dare to send people over, it will definitely not be an ordinary role. We still don't understand their strengths. We must not act rashly. It is not important whether we win or lose, but if they cause a mess in the soul world and hurt the spirit tree, then the loss outweighs any gain. Gin Song replied, Once they started fighting, it would be a big battle in the soul world. They were not afraid of war, but they didn't want to let the other party have the opportunity to destroy the spirit tree. Long Ju, after being told off by Kin Song, calmed himself down. I am afraid that this battle is inevitable. Jun Wu Yao raised his eyebrows. Menku is dead. The soul prison has been broken. Those black armored spirit envoys cannot not know that they no longer have a leader. They will definitely go to the upper realm for help, and those from the upper realm will know sooner or later. Gin Song's thoughts were very good, but in Jun Wu Yao's opinion, it was too conservative. This war was inevitable in any case. Instead of waiting for the people from the upper realm to be fully prepared, it was better to launch a surprise attack and defeat them by surprise. That Kin Song was hesitant. He hadn't participated in any major wars after all. Leave it to us. Jun Wuxi suddenly spoke. 
her father was on the soul ascending altar, this battle, she must participate, chapter 2617, soul ascending altar, 2. There were so many wars that Jun Wuxi and Jun have participated in, and they knew how to control the situation in front of them. Kin Song nodded and immediately organized the rescued spirit envoys and handed the command over to Jun Wu Ya and Jun Wuxi. The number of spirit envoys which were assigned to the spirit tree more than doubled. At the same time, the black armored spirit envoys had fled upon learning of Menku's demise. In their horror to escape, they had fled toward the soul ascending altar just as Jun Wu Yao had predicted. At the soul ascending altar, Yan Zai frowned as she looked at the black armored spirit envoys kneeling on the ground. Her gentle face held a trace of anger. Those black armored spirit envoys narrated in anguish everything that had happened in the soul world. They were now so easily frightened that their faces were all white with fear. What a bunch of trash! Yan Zai screamed in dismay turned and walked into the main hall behind her. In the main hall, that particular fragrance pervaded, Junga sat on the seat of honor. His eyes were calm. Yan's eye looked at the handsome face of Junga, her troubled heart became a little calmer, but her brow was furrowed. What happened outside? Why is it so noisy? Junga looked up at Yan's eye. The cries of black armored spirit envoys outside made his head, which was initially quite groggy swell with pain. Yan's eye stepped forward and said, Menku that idiot is dead. Oh, someone in the soul world killed him? Junga raised his eyebrows slightly. Menku's strength could be said to be the most outstanding in soul world, which was why his lord chose to cooperate with Menku. Menku had come to soul ascending altar a few days before and asked when the blood sacrifice array could begin, and how did he get killed today? The three day period has passed and matter of sacrifice has been prepared. It will start soon. However, no one expected trouble to turn up now. Do you know who did it? Junga's brows were wrinkled. With Menku dead, they would lose control of their firm grasp of the soul world, which was not good news for them. Yan Zai's face became even more unsightly, and she said after a moment of silence, it's Yij. Junga was slightly shocked. Yij, the name of Yij was of great significance to the upper realm. Isn't he locked up in the upper realm? How can he appear in soul world? Junga could not help but had some doubts. He had never seen the legendary Yij. He had just heard of the name from his lord. This person was related to the success or failure of the blood sacrifice array, which was the main focus of the upper realm. Yan's eye shook her head. Not long ago. A woman from the lower realm provoked Luo King Ching. That person possesses a soul bone. She made Luo King Ching bring Yij to the lower realm. His lord agreed, however, I heard that Luo King Ching was defeated, and Yij had also escaped. Thus, his lord wants us complete the blood array sacrifice as soon as possible. Junga was a bit stunned. The people in the lower realm provoked Luo King Ching. Although Junga and Luo King Ching did not have much contact, but he knew the strength of Luo King Ching. With the great disparity between the lower realm and upper realm, it was almost a fantasy to defeat Luo King Ching. Who is that? An involuntary hint of curiosity rose within Jun Gu. I heard it is someone called Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi unknowingly. When Jun Gu heard the name, a sudden blurry image flashed in his mind. His expression was slightly stunned as if something had flashed through his heart. But it was so quick that he was unable to capture it. Chapter 2618 The Soul Ascending Altar 3 There was a weird feeling arising from the bottom of Junga's heart. The words Jun Wuxi sounded inexpressibly familiar to him. He seemed to have heard the name before but he simply couldn't bring it to his mind no matter how. It feels like I've heard the name before from somewhere else. Junga slightly knitted his brows into a frown. There seemed to be a voice constantly urging him to recall something but it was completely blank in his mind. Yan Zai's heart gave out a shudder, but she was still pretending to be calm on the face. It's just a trash from the lower realm. You don't have to waste your time for her, Lord Jungu. The problem now is that Menku is dead, and now that Yij was in the soul world, we're not sure if he has noticed us. Hence, we should no longer delay the soul sacrificing event anymore. We need to settle it down as soon as possible before getting into trouble. You want to avoid the battle? Junga looked at Yan Sai, 
seemingly to be absorbed in thoughts. Yan Xi nodded her head. Although half of Yi Jie's power has been suppressed, it's still not that easy to deal with him with the remaining strength he has. If we keep entangling with him, it might probably obstruct our plan in carrying out the soul-sacrificing event. Although Menku is dead now, we've already gotten everything ready. There's no need for us to fight face to face against Yiju. We just have to activate the soul-sacrificing array and everything will be done. While speaking, Yan Zai was just staring at the floor in front of her feet. In terms of strength, his lord was the only person among the entire three realms who was able to rival Yij during the period of time when Yij was in his apex. But now, half of Yij's strength had been sealed off, and with the recent power Jun got, there wasn't really anything for him to be afraid of, it was just that. A trace of trepidation flashed across Yan Zai's eyes. The condition of Jun was still unstable as his temperament was yet to be fully finalized. If something went wrong during the battle, which led his state of mind into turbulence, the responsibilities would then be something that Yan Zai was unable to take on. Jun Gu frowned. He was quite confident with the power he owned, but the fact that Yan Zai was so quick in proposing the suggestion to avoid the battle had caused him to be a little frustrated. There seemed to have a kind of passion raging invisibly inside him, leading him in having a craving for a hearty and contented battle, and also for the great satisfaction when fighting against a strong opponent. There was a weird aroma pervading in the main hall, constantly stimulating the nerves of Jungu, as if it was trying to extinguish his passion. Lord Jungu, I know that you have no fear for Yiju's power, but please do look more into the overall interests, surely that his lord is not willing to let you suffer from any injuries. After noticing the defiance shown by Jungu, purposefully, Yan Zai softened her voice. It seemed like there was some kind of special energy added into the voice. With the voice blending into the incense of the rhinoceros horn, the defiance of Jungu eventually subsided. Fine, just go and make the arrangement. Jun Fu was slightly annoyed. It was certain that he was unwilling to accept all of these, but he was unable to control his mind. Such feeling irritated him very much. Yes. Inwardly. Yan Zai let out a sigh of relief. She then immediately left the hall to prepare for the soul sacrificing array. Ever since the day Menku came and asked about the preparation of the event, they had already gotten the soul sacrificing array ready, and it could be activated any time. Walking out of the palace, Yan Zai's face had completely changed into a different expression. With her eyes filling with arrogance, she looked at those soldiers from the upper realm. Her gaze then swept across those spirit envoys who were empty in the eyes, being locked up in the prisons, with a quick glance. Activate the soul sacrificing array now. Yan Zai's voice was heard abruptly around the soul ascending altar. Followed by Yan Zai's voice was the 108 beacon towers, which were located around the soul ascending altar, being lit up. There were numerous green flames burning causing the bright soul ascending altar to be enshrouded with a peculiar green light. Chapter 2619, The Soul Sacrificing Event, 1. In a twinkling, the green flames gathered at the center of the soul ascending altar with numerous beams of green rays connecting to the 108 beacon towers. There were prisons where the soul entities were being locked up between each beacon towers. While being enshrouded with the green light, those wretched soul entities looked even more miserable at the moment. Screams coming from the depth of their souls could be heard, one after another, around the soul ascending altar. It was such a blood-girdling wail, as if a nightmare had befallen. The moment the beacon towers were lit up, all the human souls from the upper realm pinned an emerald badge onto their chests. The badge seemed to have formed a protective shield round each of them, isolating them from the green light. The beams of light converged above the soul ascending altar. The runes that were engraved into the floor of the soul ascending altar were covered under the light. The runes gave out a gold halo, which then connected with each other into a circle. The halo shoot upwards all of a sudden, straight towards the ball of green light. And that was at the right moment, as if the green light sphere had gotten exploded. The cloud of eerie light spread across the entire soul world. Long Ju and Kin Song were hastily leading Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Yao to the soul ascending altar with a bunch of spirit envoys following behind them. When they were just not far from the soul mountain, they stopped their steps abruptly. What's that? 
Long Zhu looked up with his eyes big widening in disbelief, coming above from the Soul Mountain, there was a green light spreading in all directions at an extremely high speed, an ominous feeling began to hover over the heart of every spirit envoy, oh no, the upper realm must have done something, they've known all about the death of Manku. The heart of Kin Song beat tremulously, however, just as the moment they stopped, the green light had already come dashing towards them, when the green light went over their heads, all the spirit envoys lost their energy at the instant, and in just the blink of an eye, those spirit envoys who were following behind Jun Wuxi collectively collapsed onto the ground, legs flaccid, not being able to stand up, even Long Ju and Kin Song had crumpled on the floor, feeling all sluggish, as if all their soul power had been sucked out by someone, Jun Wuxi and Jun Wu Ya were the only two people who did not feel anything, but there wasn't any single spirit envoy around them who was able to get up, what's going on? Jun Wuxi looked at Long Ju and the others who had fallen onto the ground with a trace of shock coming out from her eyes, I, I don't know, there's something wrong with this light, it feels like our soul power has been sucked out by someone else arduously, Kin Song responded, it was just a simple sentence, but it took so much energy for Kin Song to speak it out, the bodies of Kin Song and the others were turning transparent at a speed that was visible to the naked eyes, this was the exact same condition as Manku's condition before he vanished, looks like the spirit tree is right, the upper realm wants to sacrifice all the soul entities in the soul world, the light is the sign of them activating the array, Jun Wu Yao narrowed his pair of eyes, as expected, the upper realm was fast with their actions, how pitiful of Menku thinking that he was able to have the spirit tree all for himself if he cooperated with the upper realm, he had no idea that the array used by the upper realm was actually aiming to sacrifice the whole soul world, once the array was activated, even the spirit tree couldn't be excluded from being affected, Lord Yeej please save their soul world not even having the energy to raise himself up, Kin Song could only raise his head miserably and looked at Jun Wu Yao with his imploring eyes, Jun Wu Yao nodded, why are we fine? Jun Wu Xi looked at Jun Wu Yao, all the spirit envoys had been affected by the light, but she and Jun Wu Yao were the only two people who didn't suffer from any abnormality, chapter 2620, the soul sacrificing event, 2, Jun Wu Yao looked at Jun Wu Xi, we're not the souls of this world, Jun Wuxi was enlightened, Jun Wu Yao reached out his hand and wrapped Jun Wuxi around his arms, let's go now, the speed of the light that was spreading across the soul world was too fast, if they continued to let it be, the entire soul world would be annihilated, Jun Wu Yao wasn't afraid of being sacrificed, in the past, he just didn't like the feeling of being used by someone, but now, he definitely wouldn't allow the plan of the upper realm to be carried out successfully, it was all just because, he was no longer the only otherworldly soul in the three realms, once the soul sacrificing event was held successfully, Jun Wuxi too, would be sacrificed, not even wanting to waste a second of time, Jun Wu Yao immediately flew towards the summit of the soul mountain while carrying Jun Wuxi in his arms, all Kin Song and Long Ju could do was just watching the back figures of both the two people who were leaving with an expectant gaze, on the peak of the soul mountain, wails of the souls kept on bursting one after another, it was such a shrill scream that it almost pierced through one's eardrums, while standing beside the soul ascending altar, Yan Zai looked at the light which was gradually spreading through the entire soul world with a trace of viciousness flaring across her eyes, inside the prisons that were located around the soul ascending altar, the first batch of spirit envoys who were being affected had already become the oblation of the soul sacrificing event, the soul entities of theirs were getting more and more transparent, while twitching with their mouths opened and eyes staring big, it could be vaguely seen that the soul power was still constantly evaporating from their bodies, flowing towards the light sphere, making the spirit envoys the sacrificial offerings of the soul sacrificing event, very good, it won't take long before the plan of his lord succeeds, Yam's eye looked at everything that happened in front of her eyes in satisfaction, even if Yij was in the soul world, so what, once the soul sacrificing event began to show its effect, it would be the time for him to be sacrificed, and the blood sacrifice of the three realms would soon turn into reality, by that time, 
No one else was able to stop all of these. Lord Yan Tsai. All of a sudden, a soldier from the upper realm came anxiously to Yan Tsai with an extremely ghastly expression hanging on his face. What's wrong? Yan Tsai frowned slightly. She didn't want to be bothered by anything in such a critical timing. There are enemies on the Soul Mountain. They are heading here at a very fast pace. Shivering in fear, the soldier responded. There are soul entities who are able to resist the soul sacrificing event? Yan Zai knitted her brows into a deep frown. Once the soul sacrificing event began, the soul power of all the soul entities who were enshrouded under the light would immediately be extracted out from their bodies, same went to the people coming from the upper realm, and this was why they had all pinned up the badges, that were used to isolate themselves from the soul sacrificing event beforehand. Nevertheless, it was said that there were still soul entities who were coming over here. It's, it's Yij said the soldier, trembling. Yan Zai's eyes suddenly widened. This was too fast. Yan Zai raised her head and looked at the huge sphere of light that was still constantly absorbing the soul power, eyes narrowed. No matter how, stop him. Do not let him get near to the soul sacrificing event. Severely. Yan Zai placed her order. Just give her a little more time and the soul sacrificing event would be completed. Just stall for a few moments. The blood of every single soldier from the upper realm ran cold in terror. The name of Yij was just like a nightmare which couldn't be gotten rid of from their minds. But Yan Zai had given her order. There was no way they would have the courage to disobey her, and thus, they could only force themselves to the mountainside of the Soul Mountain to block the route of Jun Wu Yan Jun Wuxi. Everyone, go and block him. Do not let him get to the peak of the mountain. Yan Zai shouted. The plan was so close to succeed, she definitely wouldn't allow any mishaps to occur at this period of time. A large amount of soldiers rushed towards the mountainside of the Soul Mountain, and at the same time, Jun Wu Yao had already stepped onto the Soul Mountain with Jun Wuxi. There was only one path to the summit of the mountain in the dense mountain forest, and the whole Soul Mountain had already been sheathed by the green light, 